ahead and log into your next station to read your opening scenario. Recording has started. And the timer has been set. In. Hi there. Hi. Hi, are you Mr. Waters? Hi, Hi I'm Dr. Morrow. And I am sorry, I can't shake. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, I understand you're having abdominal pain. Yeah. So tell me, um, I understand you also have concerns about getting a CT scan. Okay, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I don't know if I want the scan. Okay. Uh, what are your concerns? I know that might be kind of scary. But you've never had a CT scan before? No, and I've heard that, you know, on the internet and stuff that it's not all that healthy for you. Okay. Um, do you have any specific concerns other than just, you know, just kind of generally not it's hearing the things? Radiation. Okay. Like, what are, uh, like what are the risks of, of being exposed? Mm -hmm. okay. I'm not really sure. Right. Okay, yeah, it, it's... There is, has been a lot of press huh. more recently about radiation and increased exposure. The, the main thing I want to say is not having had a CT scan before, um, that's a good thing because you've never been exposed to radiation in that realm. I mean, we get exposed to radiation on a daily basis, uh, just living every day, uh, background radiation. Mm -hmm. So um, suffice to say that uh, that is a real concern and I understand that concern and that's a valid concern. Um, what I'd like to do is talk to you a little bit about that and help you understand. First and foremost, the reason the doctors ordered it is because they're worried about your abdominal pain. And I don't think they would order it unless they felt it was necessary. So one of the first things that we try to do is figure out the risks versus benefits. Do the risks of radiation uh, outweigh the benefits that, that might be gained by trying to diagnose you? And I think in this situation, it's clear that they felt that the benefits of getting a diagnosis uh, and further uh, movement pointing treatment to help you uh, far outweigh any risks of radiation. Um, what are the levels of like radiation that you would be doing on a CAT scan? So you'd be getting a CT scan of your abdomen and pelvis. Um, mm -hmm. Of the scans that we do, it's, it's a little bit higher, but it's not... Uh, it's not a significant, I mean, there's a few things, and I'll, I'll get to, without getting too technical, it, there's a lot of technicalities involved with radiation exposure. Um, the, the main thing I want to try to keep it to where you can understand it, because uh, it's very complicated, is that um, not having had radiation before in terms of a CT scan, yeah. uh, it, the one thing we do know is that after the age of 30, 35, somewhere around there, your you're, the the risk of having a, a, an untoward effect or a, a bad effect from the radiation exposure is less and less. So, and the reason is because 
if you're young and have a radiation exposure, then you have the rest of your life for that to probably, you know, cause an effect like cancer. Um, that's the main thing people are concerned about when they have, talk about radiation exposure. Okay. Um, so the fact that you're, I think you're 38, is that correct? The fact that you're beyond the age of 35 is to your benefit, especially since you haven't had any radiation before. So having a scan now, we don't want to expose anybody to radiation if we don't have to. Right. But if it's deemed necessary, the fact that you're above 35 is to your benefit in that you're not having an accumulate. It's, it's more the accumulative dose. So you've gone this far without having it. Having one now is not, you know, shouldn't add too much risk. As far as the actual dose of a CT scan yeah. of the abdomen and pelvis, um, it's hard to, you know, it's, it's a fair amount, but it's not, you know, anything that I think would be, uh, it would not cause any effects right away. Um, that I know for sure. I mean, uh, what are your, what speci other specific concerns do you have? I mean, I guess, I guess with this uh, Crohn's, mm -hmm. I just hear that it goes on and on and on. And uh, is that something that uh, am I going to have to keep on getting CAT scans for? Yeah, that, that's a valid concern. Uh, and and that's a that's a great question to bring up um, because people with uh, Crohn's do tend to have recurrent problems, and I, I understand your concern about having repeated scans and, and multiple. And so that's something to be aware of, and that's something I, I think you should continue to to have that concern and bring it up to your physicians. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, you're the boss. You make the decisions. Um, if it's something you don't want to have done, then you don't have to. Uh, I, I will say that there are alternative forms. And when you're not in the acute setting, there are more appropriate, like MRI, which is not radiation. What uh, is that? Uh, magnetic resonance imaging. You may have heard of people getting MRIs on their knees or joints, but we also do it for abdomen uh, and pelvis as well. It's not as good in the acute setting because it takes quite a bit of time, and if you're uncomfortable, it's it's very uh, sensitive. It's uh, sensitive to motion. When you say acute, what does that mean? I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I apologize. Um, so if you're having abdominal symptoms that are, you know, sharp pain, something very, um, you know, kind of severe pain, like you're having, you're very uncomfortable. Yeah. So, and people that have symptoms that are more concerning to us, MRI, since it takes longer mm -hmm. and is a little bit more sensitive to motion because it can take 30, 40 minutes. And sometimes you have to take uh, agents that help slow your bowel down to help see things better. CT scan happens in like 30 seconds. So we can get answers a lot more quickly. So yeah. as you imagine, in the emergency setting where people are worried about you right away, that may be a better scan. So I think that having that knowledge of alternative types of exams is good. Yeah. Um, you know, as you know, that they start off with an ultrasound for you. There's no radiation involved in that either. So it, that's very limited in looking at the bowel, which is where you have problems. Um, but MRI is something that they probably will need to use on you if they do further Two imaging it's once again that's kind of in the setting where you're outpatient where you're not having to be looked at right away right so that's kind of an overall <coughs> ballpark i mean I, I know there are some parameters i can give you I, i'll go look at them uh off the top of my head i can't i mean if you want specific numbers for the amounts of radiation it's very technical it's doses if you'd like that i can get it for you um and i do have some figures in my office i can go back and kind of try to equate to you that you know, getting a, a CT scan is the equivalent of, I don't know, say like uh, if you got like five x-rays. I'm not saying that's the exact number, but I do have some of those numbers in my office that I can go kind of refresh my memory and kind of give you, just to give you perspective of yeah, like yeah. this one CT scan might be like getting 10 abdominal radiographs or x-rays, Okay. if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Has, has this helped? What other questions can I help you with? I don't know. I think, I just think that... Uh... You know, I have to find out specifically what this is and if this is what I have to do. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, to me, that's the, the biggest thing is that you're having this pain and we want to help you. And this might give us the quicker answers. And in this setting, uh, and you know, there's the American College of Radiology puts out um, uh, specific guidelines. And for what you're having right now, this there is a point system, basically. And a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis scores very highly. That's that's standard of care. That's what should be done, and even more so than MRI, which is non radiate, uh, which is not involved radiation. Yeah. Just because of the setting that we're in and the amount of pain that you're having, and 
at the end of the day, in my opinion, the benefits much outweigh the risk. But once again, we want you to be comfortable with what's going on. Yeah, I think we should just do it. Okay. Um, it, it, would you like me to get you those numbers just to kind of have an, in, if you're interested? Sure. Okay. Um, I'll go out. I'll let them know that you're willing to move forward with the scan, but I'm going to go find that information for you. And whether it's before the scan or after, I'll come That's talk with you a little bit more. Okay? Nice meeting you. You too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat>